Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to estimate demand with a demand curve. Now, demand curve gives us an estimation for the relationship between price and the number of units that a customer would demand or the units that we'd expect to sell. There are two common types of demand curves, a linear demand curve and a power demand curve. With a linear demand curve, the number of units demanded increases in a linear way, basically a straight line, as we decrease price. Supposedly, there are very few examples where a linear demand curve exists, but it's useful because it's a simple idea to grasp. The second common demand curve is the power demand curve. It's probably something more identifiable for real world examples in the case where the effect of price changes may have a bigger impact on demand. So you might have a question on which one to use. And the best way to actually find that out is to get some data to chart it. So here I am back in the sheet. I've removed the charts and we're going to chart this using a scatter chart. Let's just first do the linear demand curve. So I'm going to click outside of the table here, go to insert and under charts and I'll put a scatter chart. And usually the convention here is to put the price on the vertical axis and the quantity on the horizontal axis. So I'll go to select data and add entry for my X axis values. That's going to be the quantity demanded. That's going to be on the horizontal axis for the Y axis, which is going to be price. These are my range of prices here, A2 to A5. Click OK. Click OK here. And now we have the beginnings of our demand chart. Get rid of these grid lines, press delete and delete. And it just makes it a little more cleaner. And now I'll add a trend line to that. Right click on any of the data points here, click add trend line, and it defaults to linear. We can see that if we tried to look at power, it, there's not really much of a change here, right? So we'll stick with linear. Click on display equation on the chart so it will give us a representation of the formula that we can actually use to estimate future impacts of quantity based on our prices. So based on this formula, it will let us figure out if we had a certain price, what is our quantity demanded? So as remember, y is the price, y, the y-axis is the price, and we'll maybe want to find out for x. So if we want to do that, so if we wanted to figure out our quantity demanded, and if we had a price of $14, we'd have to rearrange this equation, right? So y is our pricing, and x is our quantity demanded. So in this instance, what we'd have to do is move things around. So we'd have to have it where y um, minus 35 equals to negative 0.5x. And what we're going to need to do is bring that uh, 0.5x around here. So we're going to divide that. So we'll put this in parentheses and put divide by negative 0.5. That will give us x. Right? So how do we figure this out? Well, we just need to plug the numbers in. Let's say, for example, we had 14 and then minus 35 divided by negative 0.5. That's going to give us 42. So based on this formula, if we raise the price to $14, we're probably going to estimate a demand of 42 units. So it kind of follows that straight line path. So it gives us an estimation of what kind of quantity demanded we're going to have. Now, if we had this type of data and we're looking to see what our demand curve looked like, we can plot this out too. Let's select some empty cell so it doesn't pick up any artifacts of this worksheet. Go to insert and charts, go to scatter chart, move this over here and select our data. Click add and my X value, again, my X values are my quantity. And so that's this value, these set of ranges here. My Y values are my prices. So like K2 to K6 here, click OK. Click OK, delete these grid lines, they're a little bit distracting. And so we can see this does not look like a straight line. So click on one of these, 
right click add trend line and it's not a linear line it's more of a power line and for a power demand curve the equation is a little bit different it's going to be an exponential equation let's move that down there close that and so we have our power line and the equation that goes with that so let's try to solve for a change in price and what kind of quantity demanded will we see this formula here will give us y I'm going to put this formula into this cell and this will be my y uh, derived y from formula. I'll just put y from formula. And this is going to be equal to 101.96.96 uh, uh, multiply that by x which is, I'll put x here. I'll use that cell for x and that is going to be to the power of negative 0 0.463 and press enter and it's right now is divided by 0 because there's nothing in there so if we had x at the quantity demand of 10 let's put 10 in there you'll see that it gives us the price of $35 of course we need to round that out if we want to estimate something where we had $9 we can use something called Go seek, and you can just Google how to install Go seek into Excel. I won't go through that in here, but Go seek is in the data ribbon under the what if analysis grouping. Just go to Go seek here, and I can use this to set this cell. Let's say I want to find out how much quantity demanded if we set the price to eight dollars. So if I want to set uh, 027, this result instead of thirty-five dollars, I want to set it to eight dollars. And what would I need to change here in this cell? So I'll select this cell, click OK. Go seek is going to go through its calculations and it will give me the quantity of 243. So if we reduced the price down to $8, we're going to get a quantity of 243 uh, as our estimation, basically 244 if I round that up. And that is going to be the estimation of quantity demanded if we use the power demand curve. So as I mentioned before, in order to figure out if you had a linear demand curve or a power demand curve, you're going to need some data to plot it out. And for the most part, you'll probably be find out where your data resides and figure out what formula you can use to kind of estimate your quantity demanded based on some scenarios of price changes. So there's how you can estimate using a linear demand curve or a power demand curve. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.